Hello guys, today is a meteor shower, well I'll say today, tonight is a meteor shower, so I'm working on what I'm going to do to film it. In here should be the infrared lens for the action camera. Yeah, it's not here. That's a real shame, I was hoping to be able to do that. We have filmed with the infrared camera before because uh, we did with uh, Jen when we were filming in the loft and I'm pretty sure I put the camera lens back into the box, but it's not here, so I've got to now hunt around and hopefully I find it before the meteor shower starts. Right, so I found the lens. It turns out it was in a lens bag, one of the ones that I keep hanging here. Never thought to look in there first. I always look in the box that all of the other bits come in, like the weird head strap thing that no one's ever used. <laughs> so I'm going to just replace the... Uh, lens that's on the top, that's the day mode lens. Okay, infrared should be in. Need to charge it up though because it's only got one bit of battery. It should work. Now it's got a blue ring on the top to show it's night mode. So that should now be recording infrared which means everything that this is recording will be in black and white. Isn't that right? Yes. I don't know why I'm asking you. It can't answer back, it's a camera. So I'm pretty much set up now. I've got to get the power supplies out to uh, charge this and the phone just in case. Then we're ready for the meteor shower. Also, I'm going to go and make a cup of tea to take with me because that might be important. So I've got the infrared lens on, you should be able to see me. Hi, we're going to be, well, say so where Jen's going to stay with me for a little bit and I'm going to be on my own watching for this when it happens. If it happens, we'll see what happens. Got the big camera just there, this little camera, phone if need be. Should be set. I'm hoping for an interesting show. Oh, I haven't done star watching and uh, stargazing and astronomy and stuff like this since I was at university. So I think the biggest issue that we're going to have tonight is the fact that you can actually see a street right there. And you can also see the glow in the sky. Now that is light pollution. And most of it is actually the glow of the streetlights in the area reflecting off the clouds. I've got a lot of cloud cover here. I could see some of the uh, stars earlier on. I could see the Big Dipper, I could see the North Star. All of that I can't see now because it's cloud cover. So whether we actually see much more than a few flashes in the sky from this meteor shower is uh, anyone's guess at the moment, but I am hopeful. I think I've got it uh, set for them. Yep, saw it. Yes! Oh, Jen. Dad, did you hear it? Well, it's uh, two o'clock in the morning and I'm talking low, so I'll have to upgrade the audio once we get back inside, but the light pollution is messing up our ability to see any more of this meteor shower. It's just not happening. I can't see a single star in the sky now. It's just got really, really cloudy and really, really uh, light polluted. So the sky is actually lit up and it's just glowing and you can't see anything. So light pollution is a real problem these days. Oh well, what we saw was fun. Uh, while I was waiting for the time to pass, I've been looking at uh, all the footage and making most of this vlog and it's been really good. So let's head back inside now because, well, there's nothing more for us out here. So you might be wondering what this meteor shower is. It's actually a shower of uh, debris coming off a periodic comet, which is known as Swift-Tuttle. 
due to uh, the two people who discovered it within three days of each other in the 19th century. It's a periodic comet. We get to see it once every 133 years. That's how long it takes to go around the sun. It's in an orbital resonance with Jupiter, which is quite cool, and it always showers us <laughs> with debris. So uh, I think the comet's nucleus is about 26 kilometers wide, so that, that's its diameter, and huge amounts of stuff just flies off it, giving us these meteor showers. They all fall to Earth and light up the sky. It would have been great to have seen more of it, and it's nice to have a look at it and to enjoy a bit of uh, space coming to see us rather than us going to see it, which is what we normally do, launching things into space. But I've, I've liked it. It's uh, been fun to see the sky light up. At one point it looked like it was during the day, so that was quite interesting. But as I said, light pollution has prevented us from seeing the actual meteor trails. It should have been streaking across the sky like it was a, a shooting star, but all we got to see instead was flashes of light. So, oh well. Maybe with the next comet and meteor shower that we get, because there will be more, uh, we'll have a better look and uh, hopefully we'll be in a better position to see it. Oh my goodness. <laughs> it's time for bed now, so I'm going to finish this uh, vlog up in the morning and I'll see you tomorrow. If you liked today's video, please consider supporting me on Patreon. And an extra special thanks goes out to Chief89 and Tepic. Thank you.